So our next topic, we just got a trailer for Marvel's Rivals. Will it outrival Overwatch? I don't know, but I feel like it will just because of all the characters that uh, Marvel can input. But the trailer looks not like my game I would play. So it's, really? not my, okay. it's not my okay. style of game. I got into a conversation with a, a, a true diehard Overwatch um, fan person. And she hates Overwatch, but she plays it a lot because she enjoys playing it with her friends and stuff. Yeah, that it was a weird uh, wait, conversation. Wait, you hate it, but you play it. Okay, play it like it. nonstop, like ever mm. since it came out. So uh, this has like a lot of Overwatch feels to it from the trailer. We didn't get too much from it. Destructible environment it looked like, and then some team ups, which is that that was super cool. Uh, that was the, cool. Yeah, and then um. Didn't see all the characters that they were like promoting on their front page for uh, this game, but it, it looks like they're doing some kind, kind of like multiverse, different heroes and villains coming and fighting different universes style thing. I don't know if there's going to be a story with this, but it looks. Uh, Would that help? Would it hurt? It wouldn't hurt it to have like some kind of like. I mean, what's so great about this, and I was talking to Brad about it, is like they have a a whole roster of characters that they can choose from here and there. And I think that's what's going to help it shine a little bit more than Overwatch, in my own opinion. I would agree. Yeah. They can do some really interesting stuff with the powers everyone has. Yeah. Well, considering the fact that Overwatch just announced officially that they aren't doing not just the single player story but like no more pve content that stuff that was supposed to come out Mm -hmm. has also been canceled yes it's like everything's been canceled now so we're just not getting anything right now Mm. um this is coming in do you think perfect time do you think they'll have a pve thing with rivals i don't think i don't think they will no i mean right now they're just saying it's a 6v6 pvp shooter okay yeah yeah i don't think they need it right now i think just having an Overwatch style game with Marvel Heroes is going to be enough for people to jump in and jump into it, dig their teeth in for a short time at least. Yeah, but yeah, I think they could do a lot with this. Like the characters that they showed already look interesting, and the things that you can do, like uh, really interesting that Loki can just transform and use someone else's power. Oh yeah, that's which, fucking. Is that normal? That's not technically like his ability. Like he can just shape shift. He can shape shift. I don't think he can take their ability <laughs> though. But I mean, it's it's a game. Yeah, so, you I gotta, mean, you gotta have something. You gotta have something. It's some kind of you know power or niche. But yeah, I I really what I really enjoy is the team ups, and I think we missed out on that in Avengers. Even though I'm talking about like two different style gameplays, you know. Right. But I think doing like the team up stuff is fucking super cool. Seeing Rocket jump on a. Uh, Groot's back and like activate a team up ability. That was pretty, yes. pretty legit and pretty yes. cool. I wonder. So, I mean, I wonder if there would be a lot of those because like Groot yeah, and know. Rocket make sense. Yeah, like Tony and who else would make sense? Like I don't know. Tony and Cap. Yeah, but I feel like, like you the beam off the shield or like Tony and Thor to fucking charge up. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like they can mix it up no matter what hero it is, and I think it's just <laughs> they call it team up. Just because it's like a, it's a, it, you can team up with anyone and just do something. I don't think it has to be a particular character to character type thing. That's a lot of mix and match. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Right. right, it'd be great. It'll be cool. right. It'll be super cool. So, well, they say that this is a, uh, uh, the official documentation says that this is the NetEase Games and Marvel Games latest collaboration, Marvel Rivals cooperative superhero team based PvP shooter. Players can assemble an ever-evolving all-star squad of superheroes and supervillains while battling with unique superpowers across a dynamic lineup of destructible maps from across the Marvel multiverse. Marvel mm. Rivals is in development by PC by Nitty's team composed of global talent who previously worked on hit franchises such as Call of Duty and Battlefield. So they were very good to make sure and mention that. Mm. Um, but yeah, and I mean, it looks it looks intri- It looks a little free to play mobily to me in some capacities. So I have doubts and I also have doubts because it's netties and like their pedigree isn't anything really good. Like nothing that they've brought out. I've actually heard of doing very well, but it's like clones. Yes. Yeah. But the idea of this is really good. And especially in a time in a world where I'm getting tired of overwatch and they haven't really done a whole lot to like kind of pull me back into that world to that environment like this is something that these are familiar characters with new ideas like 
The destruction is cool. The team abilities is cool. The visuals look pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of interesting thoughts being thrown around here, which I think could be could throw a new twist into what has become kind of a tired genre of like hero shooter kind of games. And we don't do as much of those anymore just because it's like we've been doing it a while and it's, you know, nobody's been able to really replicate it as well as you want them to per se. Yeah. But um, it also even has like a MOBA vibe to it, which it's, it's not, it's, you know, PVP, but like the, the way in which like the health bar shows up and like how you team up with and how you like kind of gank people in like a small space, like kind of feels like a, a MOBA in a weird way. So I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, it'd be cool to have like mobile MOBA elements to it. Well, there's not elements, but like I would like to see like a MOBA um, game type. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm seeing that we got like, you know, we have our three abilities from most of these, your left shift, your E, your right click, which is probably like your superpower on your attack ability, and you have your ultimate. So it's very Overwatch traditional in that sense. And then there's also looks to be like your main weapon, and it looks like there's like a melee weapon alternative there as well. Some people have shields and stuff too, but everybody's got a different weapon set, mm-hmm. different set of abilities. So that's kind of cool to see. Um, I mean, it's it's very very Overwatch inspired for sure. Um, yeah. I mean, so far what I'm seeing looks great. Like, I like the art style. I mean, obviously there's not. I mean, there's gameplay, but it's hard to really judge off of what we're seeing. Yeah, we're gonna have to see a little bit more, but I think it's a I think it's a good stepping stone, especially now since uh, the movies are diving into this multiverse stuff and people are slowly accepting it. I think we'll be able to see a lot more of these characters in action, especially having um, what's her name, the Spider Girl. Uh, what's her name? Silk. No, not no. Silk. It's the robot spider. Oh, uh, dang, I forgot her name. Yeah, yeah I know. Spideyverse. Yeah. So, along with, I mean, this thing's going to be filled with microtransactions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I already know, gonna, I know it's going to eat that up, uh, man. <clears throat> I mean, the gameplay solid. Microtransactions almost don't matter sometimes. I think it's the same voice actor from the Spider Man game <gasps> that is Ooh. voicing um, oh, Spider Man. Yeah. Really? So, everyone's saying he's the new Kevin Conroy for. Basically, Ooh. Spider-Man, because he's been in so many, so many uh, TV shows and uh, video games for wow. that character. So they've confirmed eighteen characters will be playable from the start in this game: mm-hmm. Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Star Lord, Scarlet Witch, Loki, Namor, Magneto, Magic, Storm, Penny Parker, Penny and- Parker. Luna, Snow, Hulk, Mantis, and the Punisher. The Punisher? Yeah. Ooh. Holy shit. I like that. So those okay, are the these 18. Are just copies because Penny Parker is basically uh, what's her name? Diva. Diva. Yeah. Yeah. She, <laughs> I, we see her running around and like with no suit, and I guess her superpower is she can call down a spider suit. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And then you're gonna have Punisher, which is basically. Um, What's his face? God dang it. I can't remember his name now. Soldier? Soldier, yes. Mm. Who's what? Iron Man? Iron Man is another diva. <laughs> <laughs> what we haven't seen yet is um will they have this set up kind of like Overwatch with like defensive, offensive support kind of breakdowns? Um, or do you think these all characters will just have just individual unique ability? Like will you have that that meta of Support, defense, and all that stuff. I think you will. I mean, you have the whole. I don't know. Tank. Looking, looking Hulk, at the Hulk gameplay, tank, it doesn't dude. seem that way though. Let's let's Just go a back. A lot of fucking. Yeah. Who's Luna Snow? Did you say Luna Snow? I did. Yeah. I don't know who Luna Snow is, and maybe that's just a character they created for this. Because I thought that was Penny Parker, but it's not. No, Penny it's Parker, not. So maybe I uh, will like tell you who that. Luna Snow is right now. So, Luna uh, Snow is. Oh shit! Well, it doesn't seem. Surprised they don't have Cap in here like right away. Yeah, we don't see Cap at all. Yeah, Cap's not a character. Oh no, shit! I'm just saying. Like, I'm surprised he wasn't one of the main starter things to show in this. You know, powerful. So you have like support, which would be um, Doctor Strange, because he has a portal, so he can portal you into like I guess an objective, which is probably mapped out, and it looks like he has a healing ability. Yeah. So like. 
that's already a role that someone wants to play. Oh, I didn't even realize the portal thing. Yeah, he's yeah. got a portal. He goes straight to objective, I guess. Wow. Yeah, yeah look, she's, cool. she's like delivering something. Old she has her order. team activated. She's giving people buffs to attack. Mm-hmm. So Luna Snow is, her name is Seal He, appeared in um, comics uh, in Marvel Future Fight in 2018 first, and then War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas in 2019. She's a superhero of South Korean origin. She's a K-pop idol who possesses ice-based superpowers. Hmm. Is she a mutant? A uh, what? A mutant. Probably. I don't think so. Huh. Um, during a live performance at Stark Arena, she became the hostage of the supervillain organization AIM. After she attempted oh. to defend the attendees from the event, she was trapped inside a malfunctioning cold fusion reactor. He gained ice powers. She's basically like a Hulk. Yeah. Okay, got it. She gained ice-based superpowers while trying to escape. She later defeated the aim forces and became known as Luna Snow. Interesting. Yeah. Like I said, they can they can pull any kind of like just random character oh, yeah, like that totally. and just throw it in there so and make it work for them. Which I'm surprised we haven't seen something like this before. I mean, you know, I guess Marvel's Avengers tried to make a little bit of something and it just was too big, too broad. But this is something where the the gameplay is simple enough where like you could... You just need to build a couple of... I mean, it's still hard to make a new character for sure, but yeah. like building the abilities and stuff like that, it's not like you have to build this massive skill tree. You just need to build these abilities that make sense for a 6v6 combat yeah. arena situation. It's just, exactly. to me, I think they have the whole roster of Marvel, as we can tell, with fucking Snow, and yeah. they can easily like add people in here. Add people in here and do this and do that and just throw so many characters at it. With so many different abilities and stuff, and I think I think it's good competition for Overwatch. Oh yeah, in general, Overwatch got to be on their toes now. Cause, yeah, because this is, I mean, Overwatch is kind of dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna look up Steam charts Overwatch because I don't think there's a lot of people on here. They got like a really bad review. Yeah, people have been upset, especially after they keep canceling all the stuff that people have been promised to get. Hmm. So wow, current players thirty thousand. That's pretty decent. Yeah, that's not and bad. That's excluding battle battle net people. So. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. So it's at least double six thousand. Yeah, that'd be pretty. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. So there's ever changing battlefields. Um, coordinate unique combos between characters to ignite the super team up skills. Um. Unleash gamma energy as Hulk to charge Iron Man's armor for massive damage. Same. I think you can mix and match depending on what class of hero you pick. Yeah. And you can do so a Hulk super team. But is it, but can you overcharge anybody's attack power? I think it's just, I think like it depends on the class of hero. You know what I mean? Like a support class or whatever. I think that's where the team up gets involved and who you can charge up, for example. I gotcha. Um, the destructible environment scene is interesting. They say from Asgard to the Tokyo of 2099. Use superpowers to alter these environments, reshape the terrain, and craft a strategic advantage on the battlefield. Take cover to dodge attacks or use makeshift weapons to strike down enemies. Ooh. I bet you could, like tear down walls and like maybe like like Hulk pick up a freaking piece oh, of like asphalt cool. and throw it at throw it through there. Mm. And then they mentioned that post launch, um, each seasonal drop will introduce new superheroes to the battlefield along with challenging and diverse maps. Unlock new content to implement, implement across various gameplay strategies while experiencing thrilling action, endless possibilities in these adventurous team battles. Hmm. So they will have new characters and maps coming out regularly. I don't know. There's the good ideas here, but I'm just, just I'm cautious optimistic I mean, just yeah, because of who be. was building it, but it should be. The this pedigree could be sounds thing. good. I hope it is, man. This could be their thing that kicks it off. And then they're just the new, new overwatch. I love this idea. Yeah. I think it's fun. <laughs> I mean, Marvel snap was great. So maybe this yeah, will be still like playing that. that, right? No, but yeah, <laughs> No, but yeah. No, but yeah. But the idea is great, right? Yeah, the right, idea is right? amazing. I like the idea. It it really could hit off something interesting. Is there a particular um, hero y'all want to see? Yeah, Cap. I Cap. Want Cap. I want Cap. Hmm. Cap's my guy. Who else? Iceman. Thor. Iceman would be a good one. I just want Thor. I want Thor. Fly. Thor would be a good one. That'd be a good one. I just I like Thor Hammer. Like, I would like to see. No, not Mystique. Probably Wolverine. <clears throat> 
Yes. That'll be a good one. Yes. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Who, who's the enemy that Thor has to fight? Who has like who gets the sword and he's he's upset with the god, so he's killing them all. Oh fudge. I forget his uh, name. It starts with a G. Gorn? Gorn? Yeah, Gorn? Yeah. Gorn? No, he was not movie. Gorn. He was in the yeah, movie. he was in a new movie. Christian Bell played him. <clears throat> yes, but, that uh, guy would be kind of cool. Well, stuff. that whole story arc got fucked up anyways because the sword is actually like a symbiote. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, that that whole... Uh, I don't want to get involved in okay, that. We'll yeah. talk about that later. Oh, Venom be cool. Venom, yes. yeah. Venom, uh, Venom, Venom. I mean, Do basically a, any Spider-Man's And that's baddies. what I was like. They can really just... If, if this does well with the gameplay and stuff like that, they can really just introduce any character and make it fall in line with what Are they're there trying to go for. Good symbiotes, Venom. Okay, true. So I'm like, you could do like a symbiote season where it's like, oh, like all the there's heroes turn into symbiotes. Well, no, I was like, That'd there's a lot of cool. symbiote characters, characters in the yeah. comics that you can bring in. Well, they can. Well, yeah, they can do like a lot of different stuff with the seasons and stuff. They can have one season just dealing with the Infinity Stones alone. Oh, and then the, cool. the next season dealing with the Ven- uh, with Venom and fighting the uh, the big bad Venom and all that stuff. Yeah, they can do... They have they have something. The problem is how they're going to like lay it all out. Mm-hmm. And that's where they need to make sure the gameplay is good and the gameplay is tight. Because everything else can fall into place. They can introduce whatever they want after that. Honestly, the more we talk about, it, the more excited I get. <laughs> In a weird way, it's like see, that's what I'm saying. I kind of like, love the idea of just. I mean, I, it's just it's neat. I mean, I do enjoy all these different characters and yeah. being able to like jump in an arena with this and yes. be familiar with them. You know, and it's what's like so, what's so great about it. You don't have to wait so long for a new character like you do with Overwatch. You know what I mean? Yeah. They can easily just like throw out a character that because they don't have to think of a new one. They don't it's have to like, think of a new one. They look just at the have comic to, books and pull it together. They just have to. Make it work for their game. That's the only thing that I have yeah. to focus in because you got the you got the character already and just the balance just will be it. hard. I bet we're gonna see a lot of like repeated, like repetitive types of characters at some point. You know, kind of like Probably. when we, you know, we got um, all the new characters that came out in Avengers. It was like okay, this is just kind of a variation of Black Widow or well, a I variation think that's a of good this. Thing. But I think so too. Yeah, because yeah. then it doesn't require them to change as much of the uh, mechanics and yeah. balance as much. But you still got to play like your character and get mm-hmm. your skins and this that whatever. And I think that would be really, I, really I nice. really think they have something here. I just please deliver. It's just not my. I'm not going to play this game. Oh, you will. What? No, I, I just don't like these games. I don't like the arena style shooter style game. Hey, you played uh, finals with me. I did, and I did not. I I'm not. I, I don't want to go back uh, to it. You know, I'll play it when you want to play it because uh, I respect your decision in you. playing these games, and I'll play it with you. Well, I, I guess I'll have, play yeah, Suicide Squad you with see, you. See there, he is. <laughs> no, I'll play those style of games. The only one that I really highly enjoyed was Splitgate. That was good. Yes, I love that game. That's so so still surprising me though. I don't know. I mean, I love that. It's a great game. It's just yeah. like funny that that was the one that Too was bad. the one that's that the it. one like i it can died. i can i really enjoy they it. killed it you know that's the only problem they didn't kill it it's, yeah they did yeah, they, they, they said they're they not gonna they're, they're not, not developing anymore yeah well yeah because halo came out and because they were like yeah there's gonna be a split gate two, and people were investing i know but they didn't kill it like because the community killed they killed they decided they to decided end the support end of the it. game we had a discussion on it. yeah I thought, I thought no Halo didn't kill it at all no, Halo didn't Halo touch didn't this jack shit to they it they were just like we're gonna come back we see the excitement and success of it we're gonna take a break and build a new game and come back with a new game so <laughs> we're gonna end support of Splitgate yeah oh I thought you meant like they're not gonna make Splitgate 2 no 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 they're making Splitgate 2 okay, but yeah, that's, yeah, what, yeah. that's what I thought yeah no. I was like yeah they're gonna make Splitgate 2 yeah yeah but, they, but Halo didn't kill it yeah Halo didn't kill yeah. it at all they killed the game themselves Halo killed themselves they didn't kill it they just ended support that's not killing it well, it is because nobody's dead. playing it. Nobody's like, playing it. If you're not oh, going to yeah, update it, you're not going to play it anymore. They're not updating it. They're not supporting it anymore. So, like, <laughs> what's the point of playing it? <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> when you said killed it, I thought it meant like there's no more split gate ever again. Well, I thought that's they're you done. Yeah. No, I thought like I thought they were making a split gate too. They are. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's not dead. It's just on hold. I mean, it's dead. I mean, it's kind of dead. <laughs> 315 players. I mean, <laughs> it's dead. It's pretty dead. I mean, yes, the player base is dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If there's no way to play the game, you're not going to play the game. I mean, you know, it's just like, it's kind of dead. Oh. You know, it's like if Helldivers, if you didn't have 400,000 people dropping in Helldivers, man, nobody's going to be playing that tomato, game. Tomato, tomato. Marvel's Rivals. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. Are y'all excited? Let us know in the comments below. Will this flop? Are you scared NetEase is going to absolutely ruin this new game that they potentially could be very successful with? Who knows? We'll know. Let us know. Will this be the next rival, or will they be looking for survival? <laughs> ah.